Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time stopping by, my name's Heather, and today I have a pen tag for you. This is the Hot Air Balloon Day pen tag created by Christy over at Christy's Corner. I was actually tagged by Nicole over at Irresistible Magic and Cole, and let me just tell you, she is one of the sweetest people that you will ever, ever meet. There are a couple of group chats going on for some um, swaps and things like that in the upcoming months, and she is the first person to always jump in and be so encouraging and tell everyone to have a wonderful day. Um, I know she floods my inbox with just the sweetest encouraging messages. Um, and she has been there almost every single day while we were dealing with Michaela's surgery. She has checked in to see if she's okay. Actually, a lot of my YouTube friends have done that. But she has checked in every single day to provide encouragement and to push me and keep saying, you can do this, you can do this. And um, because I'm going to be honest, it was not easy. And there were days where um, it just was not fun. <laughs> so she was always there to provide encouragement and to push me and to say, look, you can do this. Breathe, go cry in the shower. You can do this. So when you are done here, go check her out, show her some love and tell her that I sent you. Tell her how amazing she is because she truly is. And I love her personality and it's just one of those rare things um, to find in someone right now. So I adore her and if you're watching this thanks for tagging me I appreciate you and I appreciate all the love you have sent me over the past couple of months and especially over the past couple of weeks so today's pen tag is the hot air balloon day pen tag that was a mouthful so I have to read it um, and there are six categories so we're just gonna get started the very first category is to show me your oldest pen um, and I've done that on so many different pen tags before, so I'm not going to do that today. Instead, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite pens. Uh, I used to have a denim jacket, and this is a pen that would always stay like on the collar of that jacket. It's one of the most popular quotes by Walt Disney, and it says, I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing. That it was all started by a mouse, and it has Walt Disney's signature at the bottom. And... This is just a Disney licensed pen. It's not a Disney pen trading pen, but it is really pretty. I love it. it's like in a scroll and he has signed it. It's just really pretty. And um, I used to really enjoy having this on my jacket, but now I just keep it on my pen board. Number two, show me a pen that represents travel. So I have this Woody and Bullseye pen, and Woody is actually on the back of Bullseye with his hat tipped off, and it's just like a western town background, and you can see some cactus in there. It's a really, really cute pen on pen, and it's got like a little spring action in it. Really cute pen. I've had this for a very long time. This actually came from the Disney store. I want to say it's the year... 2006 or 2008 I really can't tell but it is a Disney store exclusive and with Toy Story 4 coming up this weekend I was so excited to share this with you I don't think that I've shared it um, I try really hard not to keep being repetitive and showing you the same pens all the time if I've shared this one before I do apologize but it's really really cute and I'm so excited for Toy Story 4 we will be going there Friday evening let me know in the comments below if you guys are going to see it too Number three, show me a pen that is full of color. When I think of Disney and color, my mind immediately goes to It's a Small World. Now I know that's a ride that you can either love or hate, and I personally love it. Yes, the song is repetitive and it can get on your nerves, but I really think the aspect of the ride is beautiful. The intentions of the ride is a beautiful thing. And so I wanted to share with you a limited edition of 1000, I think, nope. So this pen is actually a limited edition of 1500 and it is three of five and I can't remember exactly what that was for, but it was released in 2008. So here's a close up of that pen and it is beautiful. I love all the little dangles on the bottom and um, It's a Small World is so beautiful. Number four, show me a pen that represents heat. Also, when I think of heat and Walt Disney World, I think of the Festival of Fantasy Parade and Maleficent in dragon form coming down and breathing fire. So this is actually Maleficent in dragon form over the Tower of Terror, and I do believe I have shared this before, but I'm going to share it again. Hopefully that's not too annoying, but I just, 
that's the first thing that I think of is Maleficent and Breathing Fire. So of course I had to share it. Number five, show me a pen that represents air or blowing air. And I don't have any Pocahontas pens because that's um, kind of where my mind goes is I think of all the colors of the wind and the leaves whipping up around her and her long gorgeous hair just whipping in the wind. But I don't have any because she's not one of my collections. So the second thing that my mind goes to is Mary Poppins when the wind and the leaves are blowing around um, when she's starting to make her first appearance in the film. So I wanted to share with you my Mary Poppins pen. This is, I don't know because it's too small. Disney really needs to change that for people who are getting older and can't see this tiny, tiny print. It's just a basic black and red Mary Poppins pen. I love Mary Poppins, I honestly do, and I don't have a huge collection of her, although I have started it recently, and um, so I'm always on the lookout for new Mary Poppins pens. Number six in the final category is share a pen with a hot air balloon, has a balloon on it, or has a bubble effect to it. I do have some up pens, of course, with the up house and the balloons, but this is a pen that I wanted to share with you. This is actually from Michaela's collection, and it says, I am the minimum height requirement, Walt Disney World, and it shows kind of like the sign. This is from 2004. Funny story about this pen as I show it to you, is that when we went on our trip in 2004, Michaela was too short to ride the Barnstormer, and that child had a major fit. She was so upset. She thought she was getting out of her wheelchair to get on the ride, and we were standing her up to see if she was tall enough, and she wasn't, and she had to get back in her chair. Holy moly. That is the first time I've seen that child have a broken heart over um, not being able to ride something, so that was a new experience. Um, her heart was completely shattered so it was the 2005 trip she was tall enough to do it so I found this pin I believe I found it on eBay for her back then and it was released like I said in 2004 but I bought this in um, celebration that she was able to finally ride Big Thunder Mountain and she has loved that ride ever since of course she was tall enough to ride Goofy's Barnstormer but this was significant because she was actually able to ride the ride she wanted to just took another year so here's another close-up of that it's such a cute pen too and it's kind of unique I like stuff like this and of course it does have a balloon if you have not had a chance to subscribe yet I would love for you to do so and become a part of my Disney family that's gonna do it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it I'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>